please like my videos in the channel and share them with your friends and colleagues and subscribe my channel if you have not already subscribed thank you we now discuss the question number 89 that has appeared in the ts set examination held in october 2023 the problem is related to the ordinary differential equations and it is the third question on ordinary differential equations this question is suitable for the aspirants of jl dl ap set iit jam and gate yes we have the question number 89 with this question id and the given question is the real values of p the real values of p for which y double prime plus 2 py prime plus y is equal to 3 admits solutions y is equal to f of x with infinitely many critical points r we are given four options option 1 mod p less than 1 option 2 mod p less than 2 option 3 mod p greater than 1 option 4 mod p greater than 2 let's now discuss the solution of the problem in detail we have the given second order non homogeneous linear differential equation y double prime plus 2 py prime plus y is equal to 3 where p is a real number writing it in the operator notation where capital d stands for the differential operator d by dx and then the given differential equation is d square plus 2 pd plus 1 in brackets operating on y is equal to 3 to solve this we have to write down its auxiliary equation in other words its characteristic equation the characteristic equation is given by m square plus 2 pm plus 1 is equal to 0 it is a quadratic equation in m and we use the quadratic uh, formula that uh, m is equal to minus minus b plus r minus under the square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a and after simplification we get uh, this is equal to minus p plus r minus under the square root of b square minus 1 so to write down the solutions we have to write down their complementary functions then we have to obtain its particular integral add them then you will get a general solution so first uh, our concern is about writing complementary function so if p square minus 1 greater than 0 we deal with the three cases first case is p square minus 1 greater than 0 that is mod p greater than 1 then the roots are real and distinct then then the complementary function is given by a e to the power of minus p plus under the square root of p square minus 1 multiplied by x plus b e to the power of minus p minus under the square root of p square minus 1 multiplied by x where a and b are arbitrary constants uh, second case if p square minus 1 is equal to 0 that is p is equal to 1 then the roots are real and equal so the root will be minus 1 minus 1 so the complementary function is a plus b x into e power minus x right and uh, option 3 if p square minus 1 is less than 0 that is uh, mod p less than 1 then the roots are complex and the complementary function is given by a cos under the square root of 1 minus p square x plus b sin of root of 1 minus p square x and we have to obtain its particular integral the particular integral is given by 1 by d square plus 2 pd plus 1 is equal to 3 this 3 so you, you can you can think of e to the power of 0 e to the power of 0 x so for d you substitute 0 so you will get 3 so the general solution is given by the y is equal to complementary function plus particular integral that is equal to complementary function whatever we have in the different three cases plus 3 that is given to be fx now the question is for this fx uh, you know how many critical points are there for for what values no for what values of p uh, fx has infinitely many critical points that's what we have to discuss right we move to the 
this one yes that's what we have so first the solution y is equal to f of x admit infinitely many critical points when when the graphs of y is equal to f of x have infinitely many points at which the tangents are parallel to x axis critical points means what what a prime x is equal to 0 a prime stands for the slope the slope is equal to 0 so that means all the graphs of y is equal to f of x have infinitely many points at which the tangents are parallel to x axis so the solution y is equal to f of x has uh, has to be oscillatory that means uh, uh, f of x must involve cos and sin functions or oscillatory functions in our case cos and sin are there in the remaining two things uh, you don't you do not have uh, oscillatory functions these are not oscillatory therefore uh, the solution y is equal to f of x has to be oscillatory when the oscillatory solutions are we are getting we are getting when mod p less than 1 this occurs when mod p less than 1 right so y is equal to a cos under the square root of 1 minus p square x plus b sin under the square root of 1 minus p square x plus 3 admits infinitely many critical points uh, when mod p less than 1 when mod p less than 1 where is mod p less than 1 this is option 1 so the answer to this question is option 1 that is the detailed discussion of the solution of this problem it is definitely an easy question i am sure that you have understood the solution of this problem you have been liking my videos and watching the videos and learning some mathematics from these videos if it is so please like my channel and like the videos in the channel go to the channel and like that and share the videos with your friends and colleagues and if you have not already subscribed please subscribe my channel i wish you all the best thank you